Okay, everybody, welcome into uh, Michael Coburn. It's a YouTube channel about Magic and Finn the Great Danes. I've got about 40 videos out there, um, but we have a lot of new uh, viewers, and so I wanted to just go ahead and tell you a little bit more about the channel. This is Finn, and this is Magic here, and they are just two awesome Great Danes. This is Finn is a fawn. He is a fawn uh, Great Dane. He's about a year and a half old. His birthday is on the 29th of the month, and I believe he will be 16 months, if I'm not mistaken. Everyone hates it when I say 16 months, so sorry about that. Um, today, what I thought I'd do is the beginning of a two-part episode, which is uh, the 10 worst things about a Great Dane. And, of course, the next one will be even better, the 10 best things about a Great Dane. Finn, sit. So, stay. Um I gotta fix that camera, so everybody sit tight. Stay. Don't want a goofy poodle with a pedigree. No whiny, wimpy little gooch, don't you see? A great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. That's what yeah, he's doing all right. And it's a great Dane standing six foot five. Okay, so we got a better angle over there now, and we'll get a shot here. You stay right there, Finn. That's a good boy. Uh, getting ready to go out, and they slobber all over you. So that brings me to the first thing. Number one, worst thing about a Great Dane is their slobber. And it just gets on you no matter what. You have to be ready for it and you have to accept it if you're going to own Great Danes. Uh, it's merely a matter of wiping down the walls, wiping the dogs off, mostly after they eat Sitfin. Good boy. What? I'm trying, I'm trying to do some work. I'm trying to do some work here. I know, but I know. I'm just trying to do some work here. When they see another dog is another time they will drool a lot. And I guess before you're ready to go out for the day, uh, they'll see and drool a lot on you. So that's number one, is watch out for the drool. Number two, um, these dogs eat a lot. So Magic is a brindle, he's four years old. He weighs 155 pounds and he eats two cups two times a day and begs for another cup in the middle of the day. And we are trying to slow his growth down. Yeah, we are. Uh, Finn, he is growing. We can't get enough food into him. And so Finn eats three cups of, day, of food three times a day. So that's Finn. So if you add that all up, it's about 400 to 450 pounds of dog food per year per dog. So 800, 850 pounds, uh, that's a lot of food. I feed Pro Plan. I know a lot of people love raw diets and that's all good. I work for the company that owns Pro Plan, so having over the years five Great Danes and getting that food at an employee discount, I also think it's a quality food, and I've never had a vet in five Danes to say otherwise, but let's not debate that here. Debate it in the comments. I'm sure you will anyway. Uh, so definitely uh, food. With that brings us to number three, worst thing about a Great Dane, and that is the poop. You get Great Dane-sized poop and probably four to 500 pounds of it a year. Who knows, even more. But I have a fenced backyard. I generally get out there once a week or more often to pick it up unless it's winter. And on a walk, uh, you can go and your dog can actually produce waste the size of some of the dogs you see on the walk. So be aware, there's a lot of poop. Now, number four, um, these dogs will never leave you alone. They wanna be with you at all times. They're a member of the family, which is great. Um, but when you try and lie down on a couch here and take a nap, uh, they just don't want to leave you alone, and so they will pester you, and it's difficult to do that. Someone won't let me take a nap. So that's number four. They won't leave you alone. They need a lot of attention. Number five is what I call the in and out game. So they can't decide if they want to be inside or outside. And so one minute they're out, then they come in, the minute they're in, they want to be out. We call that the in and out game. That is a pain in the neck as you're sitting there trying to get something done or just relax. And they just want to be entertained by going in and out. And I think they want to show you 
how well they have you trained. So now it's time to feature some subscriber Danes. First is Duke from Lucia in Mayorga, Spain. And then Don, who sent us in Newstead earlier, clarified for him that they are actually from Windsor, Colorado, not Canada. So thanks for clarifying, Don. Special shout out to seven-year-old Ella and her dad, David, who are big fans of the channel, and they love their four-year-old Dane Jackson. Here he is on St. Patrick's Day. Ella, I hope you're feeling better. And then finally, we have Stephanie Barnett from Patascala, Ohio, outside of Columbus, sent in her one-year-old Harlequin Great Dane named Harley. Thanks, and if you want to see your Dane featured on this channel, my email's in the description. Send it in, and we'll try and put it up on the channel. If you want to shoot a video of your dog and send it in, I will include that as well. And next is number six. Uh, number six would be the size of the vet bills match the size of the dog. So everything is more expensive with the Danes. You have more for anesthesia, the medicines are more, the boarding is more, um, and it's just more expensive to have a Dane and you have to do some things or I choose to do some things such as uh, getting their stomachs tacked. Well, you might be asking yourself, what does it cost to have a stomach tack and a neuter done? Well, all in, it came up to $838, so sure beats 4000 if he has to have a surgery later in life. Uh, at the time, they're neutered so that um, they don't bloat or experience uh, gastric torsion. Uh, number seven is the car size needed to have a Great Dane because some cars will not work for a Great Dane while others are, uh, are just the right size and oftentimes it's an SUV or something bigger. The next item is that they do tend to bark a lot or they can and they have a loud bark so you have to be in control uh, or they're going to uh, be disturbing your neighbors and you in the morning or you during the day if you're trying to have quiet time. You're being a good boy magic. Yeah, you are. Finn's being good, he's just laying right down here. And that brings us to number nine, which is a Dane can be very destructive. Not only can they destroy their beds or their toys, but even your woodwork. So that's another thing to consider when living with a Great Dane. Finally, number 10 is these dogs have a short lifespan. So they live between seven and nine years, I guess it would be a fair estimate. First Dane we had lived to be a little over nine. The next one was a bit over seven. The next one was only five, but had behavioral problems. And then these two guys are uh, doing great. We hope to get them close to 10, but regardless, it is painful to lose a dog. And when you sign up for a Great Dane, you're signing up for a bigger loss. Those are the 10 worst things. And really, it's just be aware of the things that come with this breed. Uh, it's a wonderful breed. I love these dogs so much. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'm not an expert on this breed. I've just had them uh, for 30 years. And I learned a lot from the breeders over the years who have helped me. So that is what I want to tell you today about having a Great Dane and what are some of the worst things to think about. Thanks for watching the channel. I hope you like it. I keep these videos coming, usually one on the weekend, one midweek, and anything, a bonus in between. Appreciate you watching and uh, keep subscribing and like that button. Let's try that again. So thanks for watching, uh, appreciate it. Uh, some of you have been with me since I had just 38 subscribers a little over a year ago. We're now up over 5,500, thank you so much. And uh, tell your friends if they love Great Danes, they're gonna love this channel. Subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you know when we're gonna be posting a new video. And with that, all I can tell you is, 
Have a great day in the neighborhood. 